to us about how proud you are of this group and what makes this group so special? Yeah, firstly, very proud. Um, we had a bit of a tough start to the conference and we got a bounce back the way we did. It was great. Um, a lot of strong characters, a lot of guys that are, are desperate to win games of cricket. And, and those are probably the most important ingredients to, to go far in the competition. So, um, not taking away from the skills of the players, obviously, all the skill sets have been awesome as well and delivered where needed. Um, the attitude and, and those sorts of things have been awesome to be a part of. Uh, Rudolf, uh, back in South Africa, I know you've obviously played in the Netherlands, but uh, started Jets that. But how special was it to come back here in front of an almost home crowd and produce the way you did, especially at your age? As a bit of a veteran to come back here and to really lead from the front and, and, and just continue to be a bit of a match winner throughout the entire game. Yeah, I think I love coming back here and playing. I mean, I played over the last half of 2019 and, and uh, I just love coming back and playing. I love playing South Africa and uh, you know, I'm glad I can contribute this year in the, in the trophy. I think obviously that's why we play the games to win trophies. And, uh, now, even at my age, you know, we lost a bit of it, a bit left in the tank, so uh, yeah, that would get to good use. What would you say you brought that was perhaps missing in this first half? I think even if I didn't play that game, we probably still won it. So, um, <laughs> but it's, yeah, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, we're sitting here today with the trophy, and I'm still trying to figure out how we won it. Um, obviously, nobody gave us a chance when the tournament started, and that's that's facts. Um, but yeah, we gelled well. We always money balled it. So, uh, end of the day, we gelled well as a team, and we knew exactly what each other's doing and when they're going to do it. And uh, we got on to quite quickly after that. So, uh, yeah, happy days. So, Aiden, as captain, maybe you can talk about uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what Rudolph has brought, and, and I mean, what was that the turning point for you guys? I know it's difficult to you always pinpoint it on one guy, but it, it seemed to be a big difference. It was, it was a huge role in the turnaround in our season. And, um, I think I've said it before, having lost the first two games, we needed characters to be out there on the park and lead the fight. And, um, no better man than, than this guy next to me to, to lead it. Um, I think he sort of rubs off on everyone else in the group, which um, makes a massive role because they're almost now trying to follow in his footsteps. And um, you can speak about the skill sets that Rula has, which is also still <coughs> incredible. But the biggest thing for us as a team was to, to have that passion and that sort of desperation to win. What do you say? Uh, Rudolf, um, you're also a guy who has extensive experience on the county circuit, so I just wanted to ask you also another cult hero in your um, in your ranks, Adam Rossington. Um, just um, you've experienced him, you know, in county cricket as well, and now as a teammate of Just what makes him such a special, you know, T20 exponent? Also, sort of like a guy who just almost like comes in unassumingly and just like, takes the game away from opposition. Look, I think I think the knock you played today on that wicket. I don't think there's many guys that can do that. And, uh, He's got that ability, didn't he? Um, he can play good on bad wickets, um, and I think he's done that today. I think without that knock, it would have been a lot tighter. Um, but yeah, he's just a. You know, um, how can I say? He's a. He's an interesting character. <laughs> he's, he's an absolutely beautiful human, and uh, he just gives everything all the time. And uh, yeah, no doubt in there. Yeah, we were happy. Um, you look at those first couple of overs and you know, the ball started being around and you start thinking that you get the toss right and she just maybe got the runs on the board and scoreboard pressure and those sorts of things. But um, I think it was just because it was slightly awkward to move over there. Um, which it was still quite soft from all the rain and um, no better about there, but running into the wicket and sort of utilizing it as best as we could. So um, he, he got the sort of pause the game for that period of time. We all know. A couple of good overs with ball in hand um, can lead to a couple of wickets sometimes bang bang and can happen quite often. So um, definitely started it off for us and um, I think like you mentioned the world of experience that comes with it makes things quite clear. Um, Ed, obviously you 
if you felt the pressure the entire time in the NBA, you obviously came in very young and you had lots of ups and downs. But in the last year, it feels like you played with a lot more freedom, a lot more confidence than you've ever had. What has been the difference, and now culminating in the, in, a, in a manner of a series before the tournament performance, what's been the difference from last year that's really sort of set you free and, and, and we're now seeing you play into the really like, the, the top of your ability? Yeah, I think, I mean, it's hard to sort of single out one sort of thing. Um, I suppose you, you go through lots of ups and downs in this game, especially as a batter, and um, it's quite hard to, to not become outcome based because ultimately you need score runs to stay in the team. But um, trying to sort of take that outcome out of the things and, and develop options and commit to those options and back them. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work as part of the game. Um, but not to, once things too bad, it become outcome driven, I think, um, has made a, a slight difference in the last few, few months. Aiden, you mentioned that you had lost the two games of, uh, previously to the Capitals, and obviously uh, they came in as the favourites, having been you know uh, the form team in the tournament. Did that make your dressing room um, team talk a lot easier? Was that the, the motivation that you wanted to give to your players? Was that already set because of that? Yeah, I think. I mean, they, they've had a great competition in the Pretoria Capitals, and pretty much the team to beat, I would suppose, and definitely deserving to be the final. So. Our chats were more around, it's a final and it's about who rocks up on the day and um, handle a bit of pressure here and there and stay calm at certain times and um, that's sort of the, the chats that we were having. Um, but they are a great team and, and they've had a great tournament and we were certainly a bit anxious and nervous coming into this game but um, there was that element of, you know, it's, it's a one-off game and yes, they beat us twice um, and pretty convincingly as well. But it's about who rocks up today. And, Unfortunately, the last reaction for both of them. Yeah. Uh, Ian, uh, for you, uh, Rula obviously con uh, contributed to the team's performances across, you know, from the panic. I mean, um, th there's two performances that stand out. There's the one against the NG, where I think he took six, and then today with his four for 31. Uh, just in terms of importance, which one would you rate higher and why? Uh, it's quite hard to say. I think. Um, each of them were quite unique. The one was defending, and t today it was um, the we went bowling first. But I think a six three you can't look too far past that. I don't think that happens very often in T20 cricket. Um, it was always bowling to a short boundary at St George's. Um, so yeah, to, to go six for twenty to a short boundary for your old spell was, was quite a, a special. Question. Uh, what did your teammates do? Which I didn't. You, uh, you mentioned the ups and downs uh, of the <coughs> um, Just in terms of captaincy, um, I think you said the other day, you can't remember when last you, you captained the team, and that's kind of how you first exposed it onto the seat. How, how much have you enjoyed this experience? And I mean, have there been big lessons from it, or was it just like getting back on the horse again for you? No, it didn't feel like that at all. A um, bit of like, I'm not kind of sure what to do, how much do you play and how much do you just back your gut, those sorts of things, but um, a lot of credit must go to our, our coaching staff, they made life a lot easier for myself and um, the players reacted really well to, to whatever was passed from them, so um, it is, it's an enjoyable uh, sort of job to have, I suppose, um, it's quite a good humbler at, at times as well, but um, yeah, we, we continue learning and trying to get better. Um, look, you've had experience with the national, internationally, uh, in a very, uh, what can young players, what do you think young players in your, in your side take away from this competition that they can utilize it for the rest of your team? Look, I think playing in front of crowds like this, not often going to get in the best of cricket. Um, I think that's that's the main thing, the pressures that come with it. Uh, I think that's the learning they can take from it. Um, how they reacted when they were under pressure. I think those are the type of things they need to take away to the game. Okay. Um, the actual techniques and that, that'll come. But I think playing in front of crowds like this and absorbing that pressure is, is massive. Cool, we've been here a long time for you now, so let's um, give some of the other hands to um, Aiden, um, can you just talk to me about why you chose to um, bowl first? Obviously, it was successful, um, though, but what, what did you think of it? Yeah, but basically, um, we could have gone to cover for the last few days, it's all the rain around and um, we wanted to take early wickets to, to sort of put them on the back foot. Their top order has been really good for them and we thought it would make sense to, to use those conditions at, at their pressures. So, um, 
they got off to quite a quick start in the first couple of hours, but um, luckily the boys stuck to their guns and we managed to strike quite regularly from, from after that first sort of two or three hours. Um, Aidan, I was at the, the inter-squad game just before the tournament and I saw guys like Luke Bofer get an opportunity to come out and play with the team. What's the opportunity for youngsters that you know didn't get drafted into the squad, just entering into the tournament? Obviously, you're a winning squad now, but are you excited for those youngsters to come into the squad and maybe enhance the, the potential for, for more results? Um, and just what, what's the future looking like um, for the team itself? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure on the future. I can't see it changing too much um, for next year, especially um, like I mentioned, we've got a great group of guys and we don't want to get too far away from that. Um, but it is, I think the, the guys that unfortunately aren't here involved in this competition but play professionally in South Africa are, are going to be chomping at the bit to be involved in a tournament like this and I think that's that's huge for, for cricket in South Africa. It means guys are going to upskill guys are going to work harder. Um, they're going to put performance in, performances in and, and from there and they'll get recognised and, and looked into, into a tournament like this. So I think it's exciting, I think it's going to, it's going to be, a, be a very good for and cricket as a whole, even for the guys that aren't just because they're going to try to get into this, this competition. Thank you, thanks Stu. That's my one, it's for Rudolf. Um, there's been a few mentions made of your age. <laughs> if I can ask, what 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 motivates you? You know, what keeps you going? Keep, uh, keeps you going back to training and being in the best possible condition for you to be able to play. You know, yeah, I think obviously I'm, I'm on the other side of it, um, but I just love competing. Um, whatever I do, whether it's cricket at home or I love competing. So I think as long as I love that, I'll I'll keep coming back. Um, that's the main thing for me is just the competition of everything. Um, Aiden, same question I for him for you. You put the ball. You put 35 in your hand. Sure. I was just going to text him. Yeah, we'll split it between all the boys and make sure everyone gets their part. Yeah, from there, I'm not too sure. Are you going to run us all today? Rudolf, Aiden, you, you mentioned the moisture early on. Uh, were you thinking more serious though, or did, did you expect to turn uh, as much as it did? Um, no, I didn't actually. I thought I thought we were going to make it rain for sea months off, you know, a few months off on them a bit. Um, you know, it looked like they navigated well, and yeah, lucky for me, a couple turned today, and uh, and it just kept turning all day, so that was that was quite nice. That's great, thanks everyone. Thanks.